You are watching the GameCreds.com Clan Invitational, cast by myself, Total Biscuit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Shoutcraft right here with a 2v2 matchup. And this 2 versus 2 will decide the winner of this series. It's currently two apiece for Team Virus and Team Dignitas. To the east of the map, we've got Show and Select for Team Dignitas versus their opponents, Ukraine Star. And, of course, the one and only Underdark. So it's Terran and Terran versus Zerg and Protoss right here. <sighs> 2v2 is always a little bit of a pain to cast at a competitive level. Mainly because it does not exist at a competitive level. Why would it? The problem with multi-game things is it completely throws balance and timings out of the window. Crazy things happen all the time. It's quite entertaining to watch, but as a competitive... You know, in my honest opinion, as a competitive setup, it just doesn't work all that well. Both looking to wall off right here, considering there is a Zerg player. Ukraine star, no crazy nonsense going on. Now, early game attacks, pretty damn frequent in multiplayer games, beyond simply one versus one. Doesn't look like it's going to happen here, though. Ukraine star just pumping him out. Three drones, there you go. Is he going to bother with the fast expansion? Well, he could, but the expansion here, he could go take this, which is eh, it's pretty safe, honestly. It's not too bad. Could go for it. We'll find out whether or not that's going to happen momentarily. In the meantime, Double Barracks coming up right here for Showman Select. You know, they need some kind of crazy tag team kind of name wrestlers as well. It is the big show. Oh, it's a big bad show tonight. It's a possibility. I don't want to go up with Select, though. You know, the problem with a name like Select is that when I think of Select, I actually think of dog food. You want to know why? Select chunks of the most premium Zerg meat to feed to your freaking dog. I I'm sorry, I can't get it out of my head, and neither can you now either. The punishment is given. Ukraine Star with a quick expansion down right there. Again, it's a good place to do it. It's very easy to defend that, especially considering you've got both of your team there to do it. I see any nonsense from either player, not by the looks of it. Spawning pool coming up for Ukraine Star. And a cybernetic score for Underdark. No problem. Nothing unusual there. Show walls himself off. Doesn't want any Zerglings in his base. Steal his premium dog food. His premium select prime cuts. Uh, same problem I have with prime as well. Any of the prime team members. Prime cuts of Zergling meat. Oh dear. It gets bad, folks. There, there are problems with my mind. Show. The big show. With the factory right there. Double barracks approach for select. Only single for show. I would imagine show's just going to keep applying that hellion pressure that he so freaking loves. I don't really blame him either. It's great strategy. Finally got some units on the field for Ukraine to start. At least we will in a minute. Protoss looking uh, particularly meh at the moment in terms of what he's doing. I would think three gateway robotics is a better idea, honestly. Single Zeller on its way just to go probe the defenses. They'll get shot to pieces, no doubt about that. Not really looking for four gateway approach because, well, it probably won't work. Not at the moment, anyway. It is a possibility, though. Select a bunch of Marines. A cadre of Marines. A small demi squad of Marines. Whatever you like to call it. Select also with the expansion because, hey, it's nice and safe. This map is really nice for it. Very easy to defend, and you've got your teammate close by as a little bit of a security blanket. What the hell is that? Oh, it's that ugly crayfish thing again, isn't it? You know, I would love it if casters could actually blow those up. Here we go. Combined force of Zerglings plus a Stalker plus a Zealot for some early game aggression. What is he going to repulse it with? Infernal Preigniter finally coming out for show. You know he's wanted to build that for ages, and now especially against the Zerg, it's well worth it. Big fan of it. Underdark harasses that line. Show's going to easily hold it, though. No problem at all. Additional reinforcements streaming in right there. Two gateway through to robotics. There's your third gateway coming up right now for Underdark. Applying pressure to the side of it. In from the side we go, though. Select charges in to save. Uh, to be honest, he didn't really need saving. But what he's managed to do there is a nice synchronized move where the stalkers are going to get torn into tiny little pieces. Oh, yeah. That is very good play there. Combined play by Show and Select. They must be pretty damn happy about that. Taking some good damage, a good chunk out of Underdark's hide there with a bare minimal loss for Select and nothing for Show. Uh, expansion continues to roll out for select right here. Show with that infernal pre-igniter on the way. Three Hellions are on the field, roasting him. Oh, it uh, survives at one HP. The luckiest little Zergling you ever did see. Which, to be honest, it, I would not be entirely surprised. Be some kind of 
brood queen nursery rhyme. I don't know, look, this is the story of the little... Sorry, I'm talking Zerg again. And what you don't know is that I'm actually reciting a very poignant haiku. There we go, show. What do you got coming up for us right here? Six Hellions with Infernal Preigniter. Lovely, lovely. Roasting time, folks. Here we go. We're going to throw them on the Barbie. Oh, Ukraine star. You've got such a wonderful, wonderful number of Zerglings that are all going to die. There we go. Show's got six Hellions up with Infernal Preigniter. There is no way that those Speedlings are going to last more than half a second. Underdark, on the other hand, got some pretty potent armored forces. They can be taken out by the... Wonderful, wonderful collection of marines he's got going on there. An awful lot of them in total. What have we got? We've got 11 plus 17. Do your mathematics, ladies and gentlemen. Takes you up to, of course, 28. I had to think about that for a minute. Mathematics was never my strong point. That's why I took English. <laughs> Can you tell? I took English as most of my subjects and just bailed on mathematics very quickly. That's why I cancel on the way. Straight through a tech for lair for Ukraine star. Continued attempts at aggression, repulsed by Underdark's nice little mechanized force right there. Select and show, not feeling particularly confident about breaking that line as of yet, which is why they're starting to bring out the siege tanks to make sure that can happen. The amount of siege tank firepower a double Terran team can bring to bear is not worth thinking about. Uh, if you are at least the opponents anyway, you would just... Uh, it's, it's horrible. It does not bear thinking about. Here we go once again. Heli is not going to be able to break that line though. A lot of roaches on the field for your crane star. He saw the infernal pre -ignite. He's like, hell no! Then he decides to build roaches instead. Very smart transition there. Show actually unable to really effectively harass here because there aren't any ways into the base besides the use of, say, drop ships, which we're not seeing right now. No medivacs on the field. No starports on the field for either select or show. So show's Hellions right now serve to do little more than try and control the map. Which, of course, if Ukraine star moves out in any real force of marines, it's not going to happen. Marines, what the hell? Roaches, damn it. Roaches. Not Marines. Nothing like Marines. Not even close to being Marines. Look around, there we go. Zerglings slide their way past it very nicely. Run against the line and all die. Yes. Can show actually move to intercept? Doesn't look like he's gonna bother with it. He probably could have given it a shot, but no, it's a little bit late for that now. Blink on the way for Underdark. Speed upgrade for roaches on the way for Ukraine Star. And now a potent siege line has been put in place. Select and show can pretty much build to their heart's content right here. They each have two bases. They're not too worried about how things are going. Got a very, very difficult to break line. Templar archives coming up. Here comes the spire for some harassment. You know, that'll be quite nice, considering there's really nothing in the back of this base right here. He does have his engineering bay. He could be building missile turrets. He's not doing it yet. There is a missile turret in the back for show, so he's happy about that. He's going to be pretty secure against mutalisks. But bear in mind, it's not going to stand up to too many of them. It's only a delaying tactic, really. Especially if he brings out an awful lot. Underdark now. Psy Storm is on its way. Sty Storm is not amazingly effective against siege tanks, but it's really good against things that don't move out of it. Like siege tanks. So, hey, look, a bunch of marines and stuff. S storm, 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 storm. Oh, they're all dead. Like, but they're not effective against siege tanks. It doesn't matter. There's lots of them and they can't move away. Therein lies the problem. Roll out, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Uh, Autobots on their way. They are not Autobots. Lots of marines. Marauders to back it up, plus a potent force of siege tanks. Couple of medivacs in there as well. Give it a little bit of flexibility. Good creep spread right there. The question is, what is he going up against? He's got three Amorals, five Stalkers, couple of High Templar on the way. The question continues to push his way forward. Rolling Thunder right here with those siege tanks. It's very likely. Continues with the scans to eliminate the creep spread. And then he's got to break that, which for siege tanks is going to be difficult. For Marines in the other hand, not so much. Doesn't matter how powerful your machine is, folks. Things tend to slow down when things like this happen. There you go. All the way in. Massive damage inflicted by show. Continues to roll those tanks forward. Doesn't quite have enough medivacs there, honestly. He could do with an awful lot more of them. Beating on that immortal. Can he take it? Can he take it? He looks for it and he takes it. There you go. Side storm. Absolutely annihilating. A huge collection of marines right there. Into the siege line, folks. Into the siege line. Will that line hold? So many marines being taken out at such a rapid rate. Mutual assured destruction as far as I'm concerned. Stalkers still remain alive, but they're going down pretty rapidly. Show is still up. He is still up. 
There's the scan. Takes out the remaining stalkers. Is he going to be able to get in there and do some big damage? Underdark continuing with the reinforcements right here. There are still at least five siege tanks on that line. More can come in. There's no question. Oh, show. You brought us another six siege tanks. How very, very considerate of you. Rolling forward right here with SCV support for the repairs. Here's the deployment. Raining down death and destruction. Bringing the sky down on Ukraine star. In come those. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Ink of the... Oh. Oh, yes. There's a heli in there with an infernal pre-ignite with a bunch of marines. Not going to happen. Oh, here's the shelling. Isn't that unpleasant? More war pins right here. Under dark being forced all the way back. More siege tanks coming in. Do we have enough immortals to it? No. <laughs> He's got like one and it's not even out yet. Show beating down on Underdark right here. Huge losses for both. The natural expansions of both are going to get taken out simply by the siege tanks alone. What does Select have coming up to back him up? Marines, Marauders backing it up and eight medivacs. Eight freaking medivacs. Are we going to see a drop? Yes, we are. Select drops in the back right there. Takes out that expansion. Anything else? Yes, we do. Main base of Ukraine Star being taken out by Select Drops. Watch again. Being gutted right there. Mutalisks now in the field, taking some siege tanks for free. Nothing to deal with those right now. A couple of Vikings would not go amiss. But you're going to need more couple of Vikings to deal with Mutalisks. There's no question about that. Some Marines on the ground would be handy. Also, he does have a Thor coming out, but he's losing siege tank after siege tank as he tries to desperately get away from there. Marines charging forward. A heavy toll taken. Heavy toll. Once again, though, no. that drop has not been destroyed. Underdark, Ukraine star is down to one base. He lost his lair. That is pretty damn critical. All of his tech structures annihilated. Underdark is really all that remains in terms of the defense, and that's not going to last too long because we've got yet more drops in the back there by select. Huge amounts of damage all over the place. Many drops. Three Thors being produced right now for show. Virus team certainly on the back foot without question. Yet more raining death and destruction coming down right here. And now the Thor is in play with repairs. So those mutalisks will not be a factor anymore. There's only four remaining. Continues to push his way through there. Ukraine stars losing his last base. Good game, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. First game goes to Dignitas.